Oh no! guys it is the 9th of March Saturday we are heading off to Hampton so racing in New South Wales State Carnacross round two tomorrow at Hampton which is on Janolan Caves Road um, in the Blue Mountains so I'm on my way to pick up Chris I've got most of my stuff packed in the car and I've also got my two beautiful little girls Tiana and Maya Hi. and they're going to Pops they're not coming racing um, so I'm going to drop them on the central coast on the way so we're going to have to repack this car because there's no way Chris and all these bits and pieces will fit as well Rightio, we've arrived at Chris's Hi. girls are down there playing with puppy dogs and we've uh, got all the stuff out of the back of my car already and um, now we're going to pack all Chris's bits and pieces out of here into here Well, that's packed up, isn't it? It's like 30 something degrees. I'm sweating more than a priest at a Wiggles concert. <sighs> Let's go. Go on, get in the car. So we've just dropped the kids off and we've got a bit more room now in the car. And what do you reckon? We've been told that Charmy Butcher's the go. Well, we're going to have to give them a crack because if they're not good, we got a father-in-law that needs to answer some questions. We're going we're gonna to blame John if it's no good. So my father-in-law has just said that Charmy Butcher's the go and we're down here. So let's go and, and give it a crack. We'll go and see what they got and see what we can do for dinner. What are you doing to me, John? You give me a bum steer, mate. Butcher's closed, but uh, not happy, Jane. Not happy, Jane. <laughs> not happy. The butcher's closed, but we managed to get some food anyway. So um, I actually just rang John and said, uh, the Butcher's closed, mate. And he goes, Go to Canmore. So if we get two bum steers, that's it. I'll be upset. Disappointed. Not upset, just disappointed. But anyway, off we go to Canmore. Rightio, we've acquired our meat. What are we having, Chris? We are having burgers, bacon, and sausages for dinner. Oh, <laughs> yummy. So this joint over here. So thank you, John. That was his suggestion. We'll see how they go. So it's 4 p.m. and we're only crossing the Hawkesbury River Bridge now and um, we've still got two and a half hours to go so I tend to think we're going to be packing up or sorry setting up in the um, in the dark I mean it's a possibility anyway because like, there's actually a few things I want to show Chris on the way so Chris has never been to the village of Hartley which is a historic village just outside of or just before Janelle and Caves Road um, I really wish we were on that road right now. Yeah, I think it'd be a bit more fun. Old Pacific Highway's awesome. I hate the freeway. Oh look, they're doing Renault's the bridge. Hey. Yeah, I'd much rather be on that road. But yeah, so we've got a couple of things we're gonna check out on the way. So I tend to think we'll probably be um, setting up in the dark, but that's, that's all right. Ah, oh, you know what? I forgot to bring my light. You bring lights? Yes, yeah, so I brought lights. I definitely brought right. lights. So Chris saves the day again. <laughs> and actually remembers the jack this time. Yeah, he remembered the jack this time. We don't have to steal someone else's. Not that I change wheels and tires on this car, but... Anyway. So yeah, it's a bit of a boring drive. I hate the freeway. And like, there's all these Teslas around. Ugh.
What do you reckon? Pretty cool? Yeah, that was actually sick. I'm was not good. I'm not really a Jeep guy, but that was I don't mind it. Yeah. Anyway, we've made it to Sydney. Well, we've made it to the end of the freeway, I should say. We're not we're not really going through Sydney. But um Yeah. This will be the worst part of the whole trip. 100%. It's where they like can't drive. There's cameras everywhere. It's just it's just not a fun time. But yeah, so pulling on a Pennant Hills Road. I'm not gonna video unless something cool happens. I mean something always seems to happen that's cool. Like we'll see a cool car or something. I don't know, we'll see something. But I wanna see some more of that Jeep. Yeah. That Jeep was cool. It was like a what are they, like a Wrangler? Yeah, the Rubicon. Or Rubicon or something? Yeah. And it's like he'd done a roof chop on it. So yeah, it was that was different. I liked it. Very nice. Never heard of one of these things before. What was that? It's different. It was cool. I liked it. Anyway, we're coming up over the Blue Mountains. And oop, there's a car about to get T-boned. Oh, nearly got you. Yeah, so we just come in the Blue Mountains. GPS says we've got 90 k's to go. We just hit Glenbrook. I think I was speeding that whole time too. Whoops. No, nah, we were doing the speed limit. We were doing the speed limit? Yeah, okay. We were doing the speed limit. That's good enough for me. Alright. Uh, see what we can see. So we're coming through Wentworth Falls. We're about 45 minutes from our destination, and um, we've had a we've had a bit of a chat, me and Chris. There's like really cool air up here. It's really nice. And I just said, do you think the Sydney pollution, like all the smog and everything, would it come up here and like pollute the the air up here? or would we be breathing nice clear air so let me know in the comments i want to know what do you reckon hey look dead center of town that's a bad joke by matt Gauchi. The view coming down here was unreal. I was too slow to get on the GoPro. Terrible. Just get it on the way back. never does any justice like what you're looking at on your screen and what I'm looking at in my eyes just two different things like that is just spectacular really really beautiful landscape and now we're gonna check out Hartley historic village I've been there before, but Chris hasn't been, so yeah. take him down for a look. But yeah, just beautiful coming over this side of the mountains. So I don't know what a lot of these buildings actually are. Well, I gather that's a church.
What do you reckon, Chris? Pretty awesome old buildings. Cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, considering I used to live an hour away from here as a kid and I've never actually been here. And then we turn around. Then we go down here. Oh, this is like open. It wasn't last time I was here. Take that one racing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah. Old post office cafe. That's an old post office. Yeah. Go a bit closer to someone, we'll be able to. What, you reckon I'll make it through? Yeah, no, we ain't making through that. <laughs> You're gonna hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see what that says, but we'll drive over to it. I'm getting lazy in my old age. I don't want to get out of the car. Sit on my fat bum and just relax. Yeah, Hartley yeah. Courthouse. There you go, Hartley Courthouse. Yeah, I've driven past, when I've driven past here, it's like when I was younger. Oh, no. Zoom right in on his phone. Oh, we can get better than that, can't oh, we? Oh, you can get better than that. Look at it, 200 megapixel phone camera. There we go, we're gonna have oh, that. Give us a look, give us a look. Oh, yeah. I think I need to upgrade phones. Anyway, we are 20 minutes, 17 minutes. 17 minutes from our location, so let's go because the sun's going down. We've got to get camp set up. Oh, pulled over for a quick look. What do you reckon, Chris? Good view? Oh, yeah, it is. Good view. Good job, Chris. Another one to add to the list. Yeah, well, that'll be the second one we see when we come down here now. Yeah. But one further up the road as well. Or, sorry, back back behind us. We already saw that. Still there from last year. We have arrived. We're not going to the pub though, we're going straight to the track. So this is actually like coming into Hampton, into the racetrack, you drive in on the racetrack. So, I don't know Chris, what do you reckon? Bit of handbrake action? <laughs> Looks nice and tight down here. Yeah, no, nah, no handbrake action. Got to go like the right way and everything, see? Way in. Okay.
Yeah, guys, this is it. This is Hampton. So tomorrow I'll be racing on this. Get through here. <laughs> yeah, I love this track. <laughs> Alright, we're getting down closer to where uh camping area is, so I'll slow down now. <laughs> <laughs> it actually looks like it's been graded. Like it looks like it's a lot nicer than last time I raced here. flick mud all up my car because mm. my car is actually clean at the moment not like driving a bathurst laser got filthy but yeah this is it we're here chris reckons he's found a funnel web where are ya hang on touching something if it was a funnel web, it would have attacked you already. So we just had a hold of the stick. Where are you? Come out. So for those of you who don't know, Chris's last name is Owen. His middle name is Steve, after his uncle, Steve Owen. <laughs> Come on. You just had a hold of it again. Just grab a hold of it and say how to do it. If it comes running out, just start running and screaming like a little girl. <laughs> Come on. I'd be more concerned about the one near your hand there. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Is it going to come out or not? I don't know. Pretty sure it's got a hold of the stick, but. Pull the stick out slightly. No, there he is. I just seen he stays. Come on. Yeah, stand back a bit. Is it actually a funnel web? Yeah, come stand right here, you can see his leg. Grab your torch out of the car. Just hold it with it. Oh yeah, there's a leg. I see him, I've got it. Yeah, see? Funnel web. Whatever you do, you don't want to get bit by him. He'll ruin your day. <laughs> ruin your life. So we're setting up camp on top of funnel webs. Gotta keep warm somehow. I like it. Picasso. Well then, how do I torment him till he comes out? Yeah, I'll get him out. All right, you get him out. <laughs> You're gonna be here all night trying to get him out. I mean, I'd prefer he stayed in his hole if I'm in my swag. I love this, we've been in Hampton for all of 10 minutes. We've got the gazebo up, got a few things out of the car, and we're already tormenting funnel webs. The funnel web or a trapdoor? Maybe a trapdoor. Like a mouse spider or something. He's too pretty. No, he's a funnel web. <laughs> <laughs> he's a funnel web. Nope. 
What'd you forget? Bushman spray. Oh, that's terrible. But no, I don't think they got it. It's what we've done though. We've put ourselves a big blue floor. That way, if, the, sp of the, little if the spiders are creeping and crawling, we'll see them. And yes, Chris, you're right, I'm petrified. People die from their bites. Yeah. This guy. You know, people also eat them. People eat funnel webs. Yeah. Name one. One person. Aboriginals. Aboriginals don't eat funnel webs. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They eat witchy grubs. Yeah, they eat funnel webs too. You just could have cooked them. <laughs> if there are any Aboriginals watching this, please confirm. I know you guys are crazy, but if you're eating funnel webs, well. You're having me on, aren't you? He's having me on. <laughs> it's become that time of night where we do our cooking and um, everybody keeps telling me about how much they love Chris's cooking and that we're putting cooking on the channel and whatever. So here he is, Chris. What are we cooking? We've got some smoky barbecue um, burger patties, sausage and bacon. But someone forgot a frying pan to make the eggs. And then he tried to blame me. So my mate Dave, oh, he's, he was just here with us. He's pulling out now. He's just given me a Kenworth truck hubcap and said we could use that. Where's the light? There it is. What do you reckon about that rust? I don't know, I reckon that'll look better on my wall and my shed. Anyway, these burgers are gonna be cool. So what do you got, Montreal steak seasoning on them? Yes, definitely. 100% must. So the Montreal steak seasoning is one that you get from Costco. Where's that light? There we go. That's one you get from Costco. And Chris put me onto that uh, Hawk's Nest trip, wasn't it? Yeah, Hawk's Nest. Yeah, we went up to, um, what's that beach called? Bennett's Beach. Bennett's went to Bennett's Beach. There we go. Montreal steak seasoning. So yeah, he put that on some chicken and oh my God, oh, amazing. Anyway, we're going to uh, get into our food. We've got our, our campers set up. And I'm hoping we don't get eaten by funnel web spiders. Hey, you haven't cooked up any funnel web spiders on there, have you? No, not yet. I'll just leave them in your swag for you. Funnel web spiders, I swear. But yeah, we're going to eat this and then uh, we've got a few guys that are camping down the bottom there and uh, we'll go join them. They've got a massive fire. I don't know how well you can see that at this point, but we'll head down there and have a chinwag and see the boys. And uh, what do you, you want to check out the pub as well, Chris? Yes, I very much would like to see the pub. I'll take him up the pub as well. He can go have a brewski. I'll have a bottle of water. And um, I'm sure we'll catch up the whole lot of people up there too. So I'm told there's somewhere between 25 and 35 competitors this weekend. Um, which is not a bad field, especially out here in the sticks. Um, so yeah, well, what, are you, what are we doing, Chris? He's cutting it. Yeah, I'm gonna have a gander on the inside. <laughs> You're gonna have a gander on the inside, yeah. eh? I could crack a joke or two about that. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bloody Facebook ban and YouTube ban if you said it. Yeah, probably. What do you reckon, pretty happy? Oh, I'm happy with that. Well, I'm happy with that too. I'm gonna get a little bit fatter and uh, we'll see he's down by the fire. So we just went for a quick run up to the pub because Chris has never been at the pub. We weren't there for long. He had one beer, got himself some uh, roadies and um, we we're out of there. But uh, we're gonna go and sit by his campfire now. But on the way back down the hill, he says to me, oh, don't go too fast because I don't want this carton of beers to explode. There's a jump in front of us. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'll hit the jump. What's on the, what's on the jump, Chris? <laughs> Nice big wombat waiting for us. <laughs> so I've hit the brakes and uh, dusted ourselves out. Couldn't see anything. Um, don't know where the wombat went. I didn't hit it, but whew, it was uh, how close you reckon? Yeah, a couple more inches in here would have had a sore bum. Whoops. <laughs> so Jason, what did we just almost murder? <laughs> wombat. <laughs> where did he go? Jesus Christ! Not under the front wheels, thank God. He's off in the. He's off in the somewhere. bush somewhere. 
He, well, mate, he would have had like the slight of bit of small a sore ass on that one. Oh, I don't know who's um, who's butt pucker and more, me or him. <laughs> Well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> We're back at camp. We spent roughly an hour, I guess, thereabouts, just uh, down at the um, where they got the RC track and the fire and everything, just talking and hanging out, and whatnot. And uh, getting pretty tired, so I'm probably going to call it a night soon. Chris, what are you doing? Looking for koalas or something? Oh, just looking for something around. See if I can see some red eye. Make sure there's no wombats that can come out in the middle of the night and fucking run through me swag. Wombats. So we're talking about this in the car earlier. Now at the end of my videos, I've got a, I've, I've noticed it's a, it's not even something that anyone else has said to me. It's just something I've noticed myself. I'll do these videos and I'm like, yeah, wow, awesome, cool, you know, everything going on. And then at the end I'll be like, yeah, all right, I've, I've had enough. See you later, bye. And then I've really got to stop doing that. But the problem is, we get tired. Right now I'm tired. So, see you tomorrow. That's breakfast. Did he scare you? Yeah, I just seen something move really quick near me here. Go on, get, get, get out of here. Hans was not so bad. You can pick him up and play with him and have a bit of fun. But if it was a funnel web, it's a bit of a different story, especially when you're out here. Said I was tired and going to bed, but I heard him scream like a girl, and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's just a huntsman. I'm getting ready for bed, but. Seven forty-five, Sunday morning. How'd you sleep, Chris? Bloody beautiful. The weather was amazing too. Not too hot, not too cold, just mint. Mint. Yeah, I just laid there in my swag and uh I just had the fly screen on and just looking at the stars, it was pretty good. So I got my mate Dave, he's coming out, he's got his little golf cart here. Going for a round today or what? Yeah. Hit some, crack. hit some balls. See what I can break. Nah, these things are actually pretty cool. I like, I like to poke fun at them because I don't have one. I think he's probably paid more for his light bar than I paid for my whole car. Definitely got to scumbag him into a go of this at some point. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a straight out no. <laughs> <laughs>
at today's breakfast, a bit of a combined effort. I went and uh, sorted out the eggs because someone forgot a pan. No, I didn't. Don't hide behind the sign. <laughs> so, um, well, Pagey actually cooked the eggs, so cheers, Pagey. Um, just went over to use the club barbecue. And uh, I put all this on, and Chris has been looking after it. So he's got some seasoning. Oh, yeah. A few competitors starting to roll in, not too many. Um, also, I spoke to Karen, and you've got to go see her, and as long as you've got a receipt for your licence, you can run. Might have fun. <laughs> Get onto it. Got Marty with his very fast Subaru down there. Yeah, a few rolling in, so it should be a good day. Apparently, it's a very good field. We'll get it sorted and get the road air going around here as fast as possible. This might make me slower today. I don't know. Worth it, but. Right, uh, Rodeo and the Can Am through scrutineering. Dave was just saying that I can drive the Can Am today. <laughs> I'll just keep heckling him. Eventually he'll give in. What do you reckon? I reckon you should let me drive it, don't you? No. <laughs> You're a bloody risk, you are. <laughs> oh, he's seen me drive before. <laughs> Right, uh, driver's briefing's been called. We're on the race footage, let's go. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Just can you get the door open? Can you get your seatbelt on, Jake? I'm trying to. You're on me. I'm okay. I just can't get my belt off. There it goes. Turn your ignition off, mate. Hey? I've got petrol leaking out here. Turn the key off. Alright, hold on, mate. I'm just giving you a bit of room here. I'm stuck in my belt as well. Yeah, hey. I'm stuck. 
Hey, where's me? Hey, where's me key? I'm just trying to turn my car off. I'll go key. I'll go key, bro. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh. Oh no! Probably. Oh good, because when it comes over, it's not yeah. going to roll. Just needs to go around that. I think I've got it in the car, I know. You might want to do that. This is not good. Not good at all. Oh no! Oh no! The GoPro! The GoPro. Oh, no. Back it off slowly. <laughs> Just stick that in your uh, pocket, please, mate. <laughs> oh no! Add insult to injury, that. Hey Chris, jump in the car. Yeah, okay. I was literally just thinking that. I'll do a cab swap on it. Can't get it open. Just watch the brakes because the. Um, yeah, I just pumped them a few times because I lost the pedal. Yeah. I reckon we'll drive it home. You reckon you can drive it home? I reckon I'm driving it home, all the way to the Hunter Valley. You have to lean your head out the window. I don't I don't think I really am. Wishful thinking. Hunter Valley's not that far from here. This was going in the car and I had another one on the on the roof that got squashed. <laughs> I'm gonna take the car out and take a cop. Yeah for sure. So 
So I might have flipped my car and I might not be able to race anymore, but still stand here and watch everybody else. Chris has cracked a beer. Yeah. That's enough for me today. Oh, look, another one over there. Oh. Stalled it. Rich coming from me, I flipped it. I remember my first beer. But yeah, so the game plan is now with the Rodeo. Um, I've been on to Drew, he's coming down. So Drew from Cashed Up Bogans. He's driving out here from the Central Coast to pick up me and Chris. And um, my mate Dave with the Can-Am, he's going to put my Rodeo on his trailer. And it's gonna go to his place in Oberon. And then I'm gonna have to come down through the week or as soon as I possibly can, I guess, and pick it up. And once I pick it up, I'm gonna take it to Chris's place and we're gonna be looking for a new cab because really that's all that's wrong with it. I mean, oh, cab and guards and whatnot. Yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty upset that I did that, but that's motorsports, isn't it? I literally said it at the end of, well, as I was leaving Bathurst last week, I literally said, you know, that I'm grateful that I got through another event unscathed, but, you know, this thing happens to everyone. Like, every single person is going to get got at some point, and uh, today was my turn, and uh, I'm just grateful I'm not hurt, and I hope that I don't get hurt. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't cost me too much. I'm hoping it doesn't hurt the wallet too much. But um, there's lots of pops and crackles and bangs going on here today. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping that it doesn't cost too much to fix this and maybe my sponsors or someone might be not, like, like nice enough to give me a bit of a hand with it because I'm pretty poor. If not, it'll just take longer and we'll get there. We'll get it sorted. But yeah, pretty sad. Chris is sad. Cause Chris knows who's got to fix it. I'm just, well, I'm honestly just glad that you're all right. Oh, hang on, I'll come closer. <laughs> honestly, just glad that you're all right. Like, it was pretty daunting to watch. Like, I was right on the corner when you flipped. So, yeah, it's glad that, you know, you got out and walked out. Chris got the awesome camera footage. Yeah, wasn't so awesome to film. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Chris cares about me. Somebody's got to. But yeah, overall it all looks pretty good though. It's just the cab that's that's dead. Cab doors, guards. So hopefully, I don't know, what do you reckon if we can get another one in the next few weeks? Hopefully what? we can just do a two week turnaround at getting it fixed if we can find a cab. Like if we can find a rolling chassis with a bunch of spare parts and stuff like that, just in case if there is something extra underneath of the suspension that's broken, we can just swap parts over. So hopefully we can find something and have it back on the road in two weeks time. So if you own a Holden Road A and it goes missing, do not look at us. It definitely was nothing to do with me. No, I'd never do that. But um, in all seriousness, I'm gonna hit up some mates. I've got some friends that are tow truck drivers and I'll hit up all the, um, the different forums and whatnot, like the pages on Facebook and uh, see what I can find relatively cheap hopefully and um yeah we'll go from there so what's going on there should be another car coming up through here oh here we go marty he's marty was going quick through jason's corner <laughs> told the club they got to call it Jason's Corner now because as far as I know I'm the only one that's rolled there. Plenty of people have crashed there I'm told but I think I was the most spectacular of them all. So basically all that's happened, I've come through this here and I've just come out a little bit wide and you can see it dips down and my tyres hit the embankment over here which has shot the back across like that which shot the forward, like the front up the embankment and it's up and over so very unfortunate, but what do you do? That's just part of motorsports and uh, 
lesson learned, go a little bit slower on that corner next time. So if we can do the turnaround like Chris said, I'll have this going, I'll miss out on Armadale state round, but I'll hopefully have it going again for, I think the next state round's back down here at Hampton. It's either there or Wobba. And then, yeah, I'll be back at a Wobba. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to still finish the, the state championship. I don't want to be put out of it completely because of this car, because of this accident. Quick time, Marty, that was good. Anything else, Chris? Any other words of wisdom? <laughs> I got nothing, eh? I really got nothing. <laughs> He's speechless. Yeah. It was very, it was very daunting to watch, like, yeah. <laughs> Try being in the car. Yeah. I, I got trapped in the bloody thing. I was there upside down going, and then somebody's yelling out and saying, are you okay, are you okay? I'm like, ah, I'm stuck, help. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we definitely will be looking at a full cage, working something in there, try and do something for a bit of added safety. Yeah, roll cage is 100% because look at this. Listen to Marty go. It's all happening. Anyway, I'm gonna get off this thing right now and uh, go for a wander around, have a chat with a few people. Seem to be pretty popular today. Everyone's asking how I am and what I'm gonna do. And I'm just winging it because I've got no idea. All I know is it's going home on that one. In the words of Johnny Tran in the first Fast and the Furious movie, Too Slow Junior. I missed out on video on that one. Looked pretty quick too. Yeah, I'm all right. Just cruise around the camera. <laughs> Dave, I'm going to run up this bit and see if I can, well, I'm not going to run because I'm a bit sore, but I'm going to uh, go up here and see if I can see him come back around. Run fatty, run! Almost sort of, kind of, yeah, I sort of saw him. Didn't roll it. <laughs> hey. You didn't roll it? Matt. No, you did better than me. Yeah. <laughs> Stop laughing, Chris. It's terrible. Oh, I've got to laugh at it. <laughs> Who would even joke about that sort of thing? Depression's kicking in. Yeah, it would, man. I'm a bit upset. I'm liking these things more and more though. Yeah, you go to work and you come home and they're sitting out in the yard and you're doing whatever and you fucking do it and then you drive your way. <laughs> yeah, and if I rolled that, I would have rolled it back on its wheels and kept going. Yeah. Just driving it home. <laughs> She'd be right, mate. I go out of neutral, out of Push pump. the button. See the button next to the lever? Push it down, drag it in neutral. Uh -huh. Just watch the what? Subaru behind you. I can't see anything behind me. Just out of the way, bud, we're about to move it. Nice and easy. 
We should be alright to drive it home like that, yeah? I reckon so. If only we were in America, we'd be able to drive that home. Yeah, all right, well, it looks like we're pushing it now. <laughs> yeah, push. Yeah. To the right. Turn right a little bit. There you go. Nice and easy. Well, so Dave's saved the day. He's going to uh, keep the car at his house for a few days and uh, we'll go and get it with my tow truck. So thank you, Dave. Now I'm doing a bit of work. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll come and get it through the week and get all our gear, all our stuff on it. Let me fuel flap. I literally just got that how I wanted it to. Almost straighten that out. Yeah, no. Nah. That was definitely a very scary experience. Oh, we scuffed my rim. Coming onto the trailer, we scuffed the rim. More upset about that than the rollover at this point. I can't believe this. Dave's letting bloody Chris drive the can am up the top. Are you, are you off your head? No, mate. Chris! Thinking clearly, oh. the dust has really <laughs> soaked Dave's everything up. Off his head. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I, I could drive it up, but you know, yeah. apparently I'm the one that crashed, so. Yeah, you lost all rights to having fun now because <laughs> you're the one that crashed. So I'll let you go on the recce with him when yeah. I could have just jumped in it and gone on recce with him. Like, I've never been in one of these things. Well, if it was my car that I crashed, I'd be like, yeah, Jason can take the, the can am all the way out the top and I'll unload the car that I crashed, but I didn't crash the car. <laughs> <laughs> am I right? Yeah, you're right. Oh, I hate it when he's right. I'm only going to do 10 k's an hour up the hill anyway. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Even if you want to go fast, you're not eating dirt. Yeah. Won't matter. Screw you, Chris. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm such a bastard, aren't I? Yep. All right, let's go. Do it. Oh, I'm a corral. <laughs> you better get off the road. Yeah. Oh no, don't tell me. Uh, what is it, Chris? Oh, <laughs> tail shaft is literally only just sitting in there. Well, it's still sitting in there, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh. Oh, the joys. Well, this is where it's going to live for a few days, a week, however long it takes. <laughs> well, that's how she'll stay for a bit. We'll go get Chris, and I believe that Drew's at the pub waiting to pick us up. So I've more or less missed it, but Dave's telling me this is the main street of Oberon. How many pizza shops, Dave? Three. People in, in Oberon must like pizza. He's going to give me a little tour of town and um, we'll go back and get
get Chris and Drew's there waiting for us to pick up Dave's can here. So thank you again, Dave. Can't say it enough times. Can I do it again? <laughs> Military museum. Yeah, no, I won't, I won't be doing it again. No more rolling. There's a bomb shelter. Well, that's what we call it. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is coming out of town now. Now, if that doesn't remind me of a certain viral video, I don't know what does. <laughs> we need to fly that woman up from Tassie and get a photo of her with the trout. <laughs> Not in her though. Not this time. Dave's just showing me these big factories. These sheds are massive. Never been to Oberon before that I recall, but yeah, it looks like a pretty uh, happening little town. You got um, a lot of industry, logging, and whatever that is. What's, what do they do there, Dave? Yeah, uh, MDF, tractor floor. Oh, look at that, it's an old train. Yeah. That's your uncle's yard? Yeah. It's his old train. Yeah, he used to cart them from Sydney, the Red Rattlers and everything from Redfern. He used to bring them all over New South Wales and Queensland. And like that. That's unreal. Yeah, nice place anyway. And it snows here too. What's it? 1100 above? Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. 1100 above sea level. Yeah. So I definitely want to come back out here and hang out with Dave in the winter. There's some snow. What do you reckon? We'll recap this right now and do some snow drifting. Yeah, you'll, you'll slide and not roll. Yeah, slide not roll. Good joke. <laughs> so when you turn in the street is where they film the flame trees. So at the start of the music video, you stand in the middle of the street here. So flame trees is the Jimmy Barnes song? Yeah. You can't see it now because the trees are stupid, all the old pubs. But yeah, and it's a shot of him down here. So this is the main street we're going down again? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. see, I won't miss it this time. Main street. Definitely another place I want to go to, Janolan Caves. But yeah, so that was the main street. We actually saw it this time. Not real big, but um, nice little street. Little old buildings. All right, there was a few things on the way. A few um, just nice scenery and whatnot that I'm going to show you. And then we're going to get this buggy loaded up in Dave's trailer and get out of here. That's the Blue Mountains, yeah? Yeah, right there. So that's Katoomba running back through all like Blackheath, all through there. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean, like, as the crow flies, it's not that far. Yeah. But to drive, it takes ages. This reminds me of the Putty Road coming through here right now. Yeah. Putty Road is no good at the moment. No pilot trucks, though. Just left it sitting there. Mm -hmm. Ah, they're just there. That's Drew's car there, the silver one. 
Look, it's me knight in shining armour. Hey. Hey, mate. Thank you. Come and save him. Come and save us. And the other knight in shining armour. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, right. Appreciate it. So on the way here, or on the way to Hampton, we always stop and get a photo with this rock. Just on the way home, it's not with a rodeo. Yeah. The old Mazda. Oh, so wild. What's done to it, Drew? <laughs> Mate, she's got so stock engine, stock intake, stock exhaust. Pretty well stocked. Why is it oh so wild? Because I like the number plates. <laughs> I like to stir Drew up. Now that number plate was on his SS Ute that he uh, rode off how long ago? What, five weeks, six weeks ago? Uh, a couple of months now. A couple of months? Oh, yeah. He got cleaned up by a truck coming home from work and uh, got written off, so he's put him on this little Mazda banger here so that he can keep his number plates. What do you got in the works though, Drew? Uh, plates will be getting transferred over to the MPS soon. MPS, what, 230 kilowatts, wasn't it? 280 kilowatts. 280 kilowatts. Yeah. So a 500 horsepower VE and a 280 kilowatt MPS. Yep. And then well, a I reckon he should. And a Mazda 3 and a Mazda 6. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he should donate his good mate Jace a car. What do you reckon? Yeah, you can have the smash it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Homer, I can see your diddle. <laughs> Ugh, don't you just hate Sydney? Love it with a passion, eh? Chris, what's your what's your intake on this? I love it. You love Sydney? Yeah, I like getting stuck at red lights and for no apparent reason people cutting you off and no apparent reason whatsoever. Like, it's so fun, like it is. It really is. It's really fun. Yeah. But you know what is yeah. fun? Is going to Guzman, because that's where we're going. Yeah. Guzman. Guzman. Roll the car, go to Guzman. Yeah. I mean, you know what's even better in Sydney? Fuck, someone else while you're there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're having so much fun in Sydney traffic. I've already rolled one car today. I don't want to get another crash. <laughs> what if we can do a pit manoeuvre? <laughs> a pit manoeuvre. <laughs> How many beers you had, Chris? Not enough. Not enough. Too many. Yeah, he's had a few beers. That's all right. I'm fucking bad. That's what I'm pretty for. You know what? You've earned it today. Mm. Chris Chris has done me a solid today. Drew has done me a solid today. Everybody else doing me solids. My phone hasn't stopped ringing. People wanting to go pick up my car for me and start getting it fixed. Yeah, appreciate you all. But yeah, we're getting Guzman. That's more important right now. I've been to this Guzman before with Jonesy. So my good friend Chris, who owns PSR in Queensland, brought me to this Guzman and he wined me and dined me. Let's go get some tacos. Ooh. How hot is it? Oh yeah, it smells good. It's um, it's like sweet bottle. <laughs> like ice cream over the top. Why are you eating ice cream, Chris? Huh? Some asshole don't burn tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at, Drew? You look really concerned with something. Nacho no. Sunday. Nacho Sunday. Why didn't you get a Nacho Sunday? The ice cream is not working. You want a Nacho Sunday? I want a Nacho Sunday. I just ordered three more tacos. I tried to get another one. I tried to get one, but the ice cream machine don't work. Let's all get them. That, that's just not right. It don't work. What you shit out of life. We just ate so much Mexican food. Chris's bum hole hurts. <laughs> Drew. is well fed. You're well fed? Yeah, we're well oh, fed. It's spicy fed. I'm well fed. Normally I just get three tacos. That's just me go to. I just get three spicy tacos. Tonight I'm hungry. I was just like three ta three spicy tacos and a Cali burrito. What if all three of us run like an, uh, like a little tube from our pants into the intake, and when we got on the freeway, we all fart at the same time? <laughs> would it can be considered nitrous? No. <laughs> like, would it? Would it 
would it can be would it be considered nice? Chris has had a lot to drink. And we've had a power nap in the back. Yeah, like, <laughs> he's had a power nap, he's recharged. As long as you know the tube, we should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have fun nap when we get on the freeway too. Like I've had a night. He's had enough. Anyway, so I had me three tacos like I normally would. Then I had a Cali burrito because I was feeling extra like hungry. Then I had, I sat there and I'd eaten that. And I was like, you know what? I'm having a buddy. What did I have? Another three tacos. And I told them. I said, make them spicy. Make them how I want them. Yeah, they delivered. So I don't know what's wrong with the Rutherford uh, Guzman. But pick your game up, guys. Because, yeah, Sydney Guzman is where it's at. Yeah. Hungry Jack's also where it's at. The burger's better at Hungry Jack's. This car's pretty flush, mate. Yeah, mate. <laughs> oh, look at the pretty lights. And then that's it. They didn't even bother to keep going with it. Rip off. Yeah, it almost seem. <laughs> uh, Chris is in the back of the car snoring. Anyone think he crashed a car today? <laughs> <laughs> Are you awake there, Sleeping Beauty? Oh, God, no. Hey? Uh, you wake up? Look, we're back in the ghetto. Oh, thank God. Well, we've made it. We're back in Greta. So, um, something that I've, I've been saying is that every video I do, I, um, you know, I'm all hyped up and I'm all, yeah, yeah, let's do this, let's do that and everything else and anyway, and then I finish off and I'm just like, yeah, righty -o, see you later, like, subscribe, bye. But, um, I don't know, today it's a bit hard not to do that, really, because it's been a bit of a uh, shitty day. But, um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it more than what I did. I mean, I still had fun. We still had a good time, didn't we, Drew? Definitely. <laughs> uh, shout out to this guy, absolute legend. He's drove all the way down there to rescue me and Chris. We've, we've dropped Chris off already. Pretty well just threw him out of the car. He rolled out and just passed out on his lawn. But um, yeah, that's racing, hey? Uh, we've already been on Marketplace on the drive home and looking for another cab. So I'll, um, there we go, what's this? Yep, Marketplace. <laughs> So yeah, so I'll try and get another cab, get a rolling chassis or something. Uh, hopefully get out of it fairly cheap and then, um, yeah, get it wrapped. But until then, like I said, like and subscribe and uh, we'll keep racing the laser because it's still good. <laughs> See you on the next one.